Season of the Worthy has enabled some amazing new builds. This build we have today is unlike anything I've ever used. So much lightning! Similar builds exist online, but this one is actually much different. Stay tuned to see how you can easily make this build on any of your characters. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Marshix, and today we're looking at a build I've been looking to try since the season started. I call it Tyrant's Lightning. I know there's probably a better name, let me know if you have one in the comments. And make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy my content. Like I said in the intro, this build is different from all the other ARC builds I've seen online. If someone else already posted about this exact build, I'm sorry. I thought I was original, but I guess not. And yes, this build works for all classes. However, Warlocks probably benefit the most. I originally built this for PvE, but I'll go over how you can make some changes for PvP. Let's start off by going over the mods. The core of this build is actually a seasonal artifact mod called Lightning Strikes Twice. After throwing an arc grenade, gain increased grenade recharge for a short time. Arc final blows extend the duration of this benefit. Any arc kill counts towards this buff. Weapons, grenades, supers, melees, any arc kill. Your goal with this build is to keep up this buff to constantly get grenades back. Just so you guys know, this buff does cap at 20 seconds, but you can still get kills and keep it at 20 seconds constantly. The second core part of this build is Tyrant Surge. Dealing damage with arc, melee, super, and grenade abilities spawns a Warmind Cell. Dealing damage, not getting kills. Now this is where other builds differ. We're creating Warmind Cells, but we don't want to destroy them. We want to collect them for Warmind's Light. Become charged with light by collecting a Warmind Cell. But Marshix, why do we want to be charged with light? Firepower. This is a mod from last season that states, while charged with light, regain a portion of your grenade energy when you use your grenade consuming one stack of charge with light. Yes, more grenade energy. Firepower is no longer available in the game, but don't worry. If you don't have it, just replace it with Strength of Rasputin. This will give you melee energy whenever you collect a Warmind Cell. This will also mean you don't need Warmind's Light unless you decide to run it with Firepower. For your stats, you want to get as much discipline as possible for even more grenades. After that, focus on the usual stats, recovery, intellect, maybe mobility, and pro tip, if you don't have great armor, starting at level 37 of the season pass, you get guaranteed high stat armor, and you can now change the element of the armor to fit whichever mods you need. After you have your mods and stats situated, it's time to masterwork your armor and fill up any empty mod slots. I'll quickly go over some mods that may be helpful to squeeze in. Fastball, Impact Induction, Momentum Transfer, Ashes to Assets, Hands-On, Bomber, Taken, Fallen, or Hive Armaments, Surge Detonators, and of course any of the stat mods. Warmind Cells are not enabled in PvP, so scrap everything with Warmind Cells and use some of the mods I just mentioned if you decide to use this for PvP. All the other mods should work though. Don't forget you still need a way to become charged with light for firepower, so I would suggest taking charge to become charged with light by picking up an orb of light. This can be generated from either a super or a masterworked weapon. Weapons. This is a grenade build, so why not throw in some guns with Demolitionist? Kills with this weapon generate grenade energy. Activating your grenade ability reloads this weapon from reserves. If you did the whole Perfect Paradox farm last season, I'm sure you have one with Demolitionist. If not, I would suggest grinding an Arc Logic from the Lectern of Enchanting on the moon. This can get Demolitionist, and it's an Arc weapon, so you can keep up your Lightning Strikes Twice buff. And it's a 600 RPM auto rifle, which is probably the best archetype right now. Exotics. Warlocks, we have it best. Crown of Tempest. Arc ability kills increase the recharge rate of your arc abilities and extend the duration of Storm Trance. How convenient. We just so happen to get arc abilities constantly. This exotic ensures you get your abilities back very quickly and extends your super quite a bit. But wait, it gets better. Warlocks want to run Top Tree Stormcaller. This gives access to the perk Chain Lightning to, as the name implies, Chain Lightning with your melee. Transcendence to extend your super even longer and fully heal you if you have a grenade and melee charge when you cast it. Arc web. Enemies damaged by your grenades chain deadly lightning to nearby enemies. Each grenade or melee chain returns grenade energy. And Ionic Blink lets you teleport during your super. All of these abilities synergize so well with our mods that give ability energy back. It's so perfect. Hunters, you have two options for exotics. Shinobu's Vow and Lucky Raspberry. Shinobu's Vow not only gives you a second skip grenade, it also makes skip grenades return grenade energy when they deal damage. Not to mention, skip grenades can be nasty in Crucible, especially in low-man teams like Trials and Survival. 
Lucky Raspberry is great too for an exotic. This increases the chaining capabilities of arc bolt grenades and has a chance to recharge it each time it deals damage. Personally, I prefer Shinobu's Vow, but they're both great options for both PvE and PvP. The subclass I chose to run with is Bottom Tree for combat meditation to further increase melee and grenade recharge rates while critically wounded, but I know everyone will stick with Middle Tree and PvP to show off your baton skills. Titans, don't think I forgot about you. If you run Middle or Bottom Tree, you get Armamentarium. A very simple exotic, it gives you two grenade charges, if you haven't noticed yet, we love grenades! Two grenade charges allow us to keep up the lightning strikes twice stat buff. Another reason why I love Shinobu's Vow for hunters. The exotic you want if you're top tree is the insurmountable skull fort to get your shoulder charge back each time you get a shoulder charge kill. Why do you want shoulder charge? Aftershocks. Damaging enemies with seismic strike, aka shoulder charge, recharges your grenade. Running top tree also inherently gives you two grenade charges, so no need for armamentarium. Quick recap. Tyrant Surge, Worthy Armor Mod, creates Warmind Cells with Arc Abilities, Lightning Strikes Twice, Class Item Mod, gives Grenade Energy from Arc Kills, Firepower, Solar Dawn Mod, gives Grenade Energy when charged with Light, Warmind's Light, Worthy Armor Mod, charges you with Light by collecting Warmind Cells, Exotics, Warlocks, Crown of Tempests, Hunters, Shinobu Vow or Lucky Raspberry, and Titans, Armamentarium or Insurmountable Skull Fort. Is some of this overkill? Yes. Is that a problem? No. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope you tried this build out for yourself. If you did, make sure you share this video with your friends. It helps you all out and it helps get my content out there. Thank you all for watching this far and I'll see you next time.